Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Gloria Victus video. This is going to be on a beginner's money making guide, just helping you getting started off to earn some riches in this game. I hope this guide helps. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part. Let's get on with the video. All right, so let's start off with what you're gonna need. I'd say to get started on this, you're probably gonna need around 10 silver at the absolute max. Um, you're going to need some seeds, some buckets of water, and a lot of rotten food. Now, if you've got about 10 silver, you're also gonna need a sickle. Um, if you've got about 10 silver, you can get everything you want off of the marketplace. You just type in food, give it top right, as you can see, rotten food, it's really cheap. I'd say you get about 1k to get started. It's going to cost you one and a half silver. Well, around that anyway. Um, some buckets of water. Again, all of this you can get yourself. I prefer to just buy it. It's very cheap. Like, you look, one, well, the water is not too cheap. You're not going to need 1,000 though. You're going to need like maybe 100. That's going to be free silver. Um, and then you're going to need some seeds. So the seeds. You're going to want to go to a where is he? A food and herb merchant. Show me your goods. If we have a look here, you've got all your different types of seeds. You've got carrots, parsley, onion, garlic, flax, wheat, hop, and lentils. So this is going to be. You're going to have to do some testing with this. Um, have a look on the market price. See how much everything is. You know, test out the different seeds. See what. You get like how many you get from each seed, like how many yields you get. Me personally, I'm going to be showing you with flax. That's what I've been doing it with. Um, you can buy a sickle from Rupert the Merchant, or you can get one from the marketplace. I'd say get one from the market. As you can see, I've got an apprentice sickle plus one. If you look down at the gathering resources down uh, into the center, you'll see mowing times 1.7. So that means I'm going to get more every time I use it. So you definitely want your mowing to be up. So have a look on the marketplace, you can get them cheap anyway, I think this was like one silver or something like that. Then after that you're going to want to find the right spot because everywhere is different. Like if you plant something here, you're only going to get 20% of the yield of what you'd normally get. To say if you went to, uh, where is where I've just gone, uh, Greenport and then you want to go to the Greenport farm and you want to do all, you know, planting everything on the farms. I'll get into that in a minute. First, I'm going to tell you how to get water and stuff. So if you haven't got the money to buy your water or anything, you literally just have to go to a well and you can just gather it. There we go. Five buckets of water added. Do this for 10 minutes. You'll have loads. So that's how you get your water. Um, for getting your rotten food, all you want to be doing with that is just killing every animal you see, butchering them up getting your meats and then just leaving them to go rotten it's going to take about two to three days that's why i suggest buying it because it's cheap anyway it is really cheap you're going to want a, a decent amount like a thousand or something when you get started probably like a hundred bucket of water and then around a hundred of whatever seeds you want so let's get on to the locations all right so the locations there's eight different places where you're going to get 100% yield. I've marked them on this picture right here with the green circle around it. Any of these eight locations will get you 100% yield. So now you know what you need. You know where you need to go. Let's get on with how to actually farm. All right, so here you can see me in my inventory. I'm putting the seeds on my hotbar. The reason to doing that is just easier to get to. So I'm just going to press 1 because that's where I put it, find the spot where I want to put it, press the use key for me, that is E. It takes 3 seconds to put the seeds down, then after that you're going to want to water it, just press E again. And then you're going to want to fertilise it. Now that's what you need the rotten food for. It's going to use about 20, can't remember the exact number for each one you can have up to 20 seeds planted at a time um, the bad thing about flax is how much space it uses in this clip I was only managed to put 10 down by the end of it this is why I said you want to experiment find out what gives you the best money and what's best for you 
Now as you can see the one on the right is dried out, so I need to go back to it, I need to rewater it. And then that's it, you're just going to continue, but a couple of tips, if it's raining, you never need to water your plants, the rain will do that for you. Um, let's get a clip up now of some weeds. As you can see, one of my farm paths has got some weeds, you just run up, use your use key, for me it's E, get rid of that. And you just need to maintain them. But you can do other stuff at the same time. Like, for instance, um, where I'm farming right now, you can see there's three beehives, so I can gather from these every single five minutes. And you want to be on top of that, make sure you are gathering these. Because these will get you a decent amount of money. Some locations have three, some locations have five. I think there's one location that has six. Like, I'm not too sure though. But you just want to find the best location for you. But anyway, I'm going to do this for one hour. Um, and then at the end of it, I'll put all my stuff up for sale and we'll see how much we make. Alright, so I'm back after one hour. Let's see how much we actually got. So we're going to jump on Marketplace. As you can see, I made over 1,000 flax, over 75 honey, uh, beeswax, sorry, and over 140 honey. So on the buy menu, just type in bundle. As you can see, they're going for 4.49. So I'm going to sell mine for, where are they? There they are. Um, let's say 4.35. Drag this bar over, 30 days and we're making 45 silver. That's not bad for an hour. But then we've also got the beeswax on top. Let's see how much these go for. All right, so here's a tip for, uh, for making more money. As you can see, these top two are quite cheap and there's not a lot, so I'm gonna buy them out. I'm just gonna buy all of them. Because then I can sell all mine for more money and I'll make profit on these two on top. So these are going for 19.99. Uh, where am I? Let's sell mine for let's say 1950. 21 silver. Alright, I was gonna buy them out, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna chuck mine in for two, two, four. That's an extra two. Well, just under three silver to be fair, like literally just under. So that's not too bad. All right, so that's getting me a total of 69 silver at the end for one hour's work. That's not too shabby considering I, well, if you're doing this as a beginner and you're starting off with 10 silver, turning that into 69 for an hour's work, that's not too bad at all. I'm gonna get onto a couple more tips. So I'll just jump on that for two more minutes, but this comes down to more luck. This is something that you can do consistently. So I'd say do this whenever you got some spare time, make some money and it'll get you some uh, leveling up in your farming skill. All right, so a couple more things you could do. Um, you know, you can always go farm animals, butcher them up. Um, you can do, as you can see how it's Greenport farm um, for farming. But you've also got uh, a mine here a uh, lumber mill here again most of these castles have farms and lumber mills around them i'm just going to go to a mining spot show you some mining uh, but then you can also do go to the lumber mill go do some wood cutting turn that into wood billets sell that on the marketplace uh, the mining you know you could either turn this into ingots sell them or you could just sell the ore how it is you know it's super simple it's not hard coal I know this, people are always after this. This is really good for money. Get a crap ton of coal, sell it to someone. Everyone needs coal. But the mining's not too bad. I wouldn't say, I'd say the farming is the best method, but if you're just looking for something a little bit more chilled out, because obviously with the farming, you've got to watch everything with this. You're just running around, pressing E on stuff. And it's literally as easy as that. But you bug out then. So yeah, that's uh, that's the mining. Um, I'll get onto wood cutting now. How much? How much do these go for? Let's have a look. So I don't even do this myself. These go for fourteen and a half. So ten of them, well, average is fourteen. So like ten of them is going to be one and a half silver. 
So, you know, that's, that's one and a half silver we've just made already, you know what I mean? It's easy money, but obviously you have to wait for these nodes to respawn. With the farming, you can just consistently do it, non-stop, just keep going. But anyway, guys, I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to leave comments below on anything you need to ask or if you need to say anything or just anything whatsoever. Drop a like, drop a sub. There'll be more videos in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Peace out. See you in the next one.